Some companies do staff incentives very well. It's well thought through, well resourced. It's aligned to the company values, the appropriate KPIs to get the outcomes. It's fantastic and there's a harmony and it's humming. There's other companies that don't quite nail it. Now to get a sense of how well you're doing on this stuff, it's worth aligning the way you're handling what you're doing right now to the way we might reward or teach a young child. If the youngest of our children does something well, we don't give them money. Nor do we say, here's a certificate so that you can give it to somebody and so you can go away for two days and have some time on your own on a weekend holiday or retreat, retreat or resort or the like. We don't do that. What we do is we, one, acknowledge them, tell them how great they are. Two, we tell them how great they are in front of some other family members. How good was Johnny the other day? Didn't he do a great job? Three, we make sure they feel like they belong to something bigger. You know, you are part of this family. You're part of that great team and they feel like they belong and there's a security that they start to experience, an emotional security that they belong to something bigger and they're safe and they're loved and they're welcomed here. And we suggest that they're growing very well towards that ultimate goal of being a good boy or a good girl or growing up into a great adult or a great person. Now, all those things directly match any incentives that should be in an organization. You're growing into the ideal that this company wants to live by. You're growing into something that we want to reward and somebody we want to be around and we want to love and there's lots of security here for you. One of the vulnerabilities with incentives is if you put them in the wrong place or they're inconsistent. So for example, if a child swore and they got in trouble, the child gets upset and says, I'm not allowed to do that, I've been reprimanded, which is feedback in the workplace, same, it's fine. But then one day you're having a family barbecue and the child swears and everybody laughs because they think it's entertaining. So now this child goes, ah, I get applaud, I get accolade, it's okay to swear. So now the child goes and swears at another occasion and then they get smacked and then there's confusion. I don't get it. What hoop am I meant to jump through? So crucial with incentives is that they are clearly stated to the people where they lie so they know what hoops to jump through. They're clearly relevant to what we're moving towards as an organization and what we, people are uh, moving towards as individuals and that they're consistently given. It can't be we give it this year but not next year. It needs to be thought through so there's a pattern and a harmony and the rules don't change. That way you actually do incentivize because they know it's available to them. It's not a hit and miss. If you've got a hit and miss system, a system that's inconsistent and not congruent with all the KPIs that you've got, you're asking, you've got a mess. So it's really worth thinking that through.